So my name is Vivek Mabubani, born and raised in Hong Kong. I am a stand-up comedian and also web designer. But is it because of this guy who is Halloween person? Is there anyone who is going to go to Halloween? Because some people always say I'm a crazy person, right? So today I'm going to put it on the crazy person. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Other classmates would see me the first time. They would see me, they would think, oh, this guy is different. I was called an alien. Like t kids would raise their hands, like teacher, why is there an alien in our class? You know, I've had kids turn to me and say in Cantonese, "Say cha zai ni dong fu ning lei," which means you dumb Indian, you're not welcome here. There have been occasions where people assume I don't speak Chinese, and they would just be rude. I've been on an, on a minibus where I was the only guy in the passenger seat, and I was just sitting there looking around, where do I get off and everything. So he'll be driving, looking at the mirror, looking at me, talking to me in Cantonese, thinking I don't understand. He was swearing. He was very rude. So finally, there was a moment our eyes connected, and he was like, "Hey, you're talking to me, you're speaking Chinese, huh? So you're speaking Chinese, you know? Which means, yeah, I'm talking to you, silly fool. Do you understand me? Huh? Do you understand me?" And then I looked at him. I was like, "Sick ah." And he's like, huh? Oh, 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 let's like, oh, more easy, more easy. And then he was really apologetic. So when I was young, when I was six years old, there was only one thing that was not present. Only you could say you were young, so you know, no other things, right? So I would say, ah, it's really, why is it you young, so you know, right? I would say Hong Kong is racist until you're beneficial to someone. In the sense that I don't like your kind. I don't like. Wait, you're gonna help me make money? You're my best friend. People ask me, you know, what's the Hong Kong spirit? I'm like, Hong Kong spirit is when you lose and I win. That's the Hong Kong spirit. You know, it's a very bizarre thing, but I've seen it. So it slowly shifts into not talking about my life and sharing with you what I am, how I struggled growing up. But it's more like, you know what? We are just the same. We want to get on that train as much as the next guy. You know, we want to get that last empty seat just like anyone else. You know, we're just the same. We joke about that. 最串就係咩咧？個地鐵個 design 咧係等你落車嘅時候咧，你見到對面嗰架車道門係開咗嘅，但係條路好長嘅，係。咁你嗰一刻就會問自己：我想贏啊，定我想趕到嗰班車咧？係。咁你會決定我唔得，我又要贏，但係要趕到班車，可以做啲咩咁咧？係咪？咁你又唔想跑噶嘛？跑好柒噶嘛？係咪？ Initially, when I started my comedy, it was never a matter of like, oh, I'm trying to deliver a message. I'm not trying to, you know, create world peace. But what I found is that in my comedy writing, certain aspects of my thinking would come out, and certain things would suddenly translate, and where people go like, oh, I never thought of it that way. And that actually ended up shifting people's mentality. For example, me talking about getting my ID card checked by the police, right? This cop from across the street sees me, and he's like, you, ID card. I'm like, okay, man. She's okay. Just calm down. Just... So I take it out and I give it to him. Now the thing is, my name is Mabubani. That's my surname, and it's so obvious that the cop could not pronounce my name because when he took my card, he was like, ah, yeah, um, uh, uh, and he was like thinking. He's like, okay, looks like a terrorist. Surname starts letter M. Looks like a terrorist. Surname starts letter M. His best guess for my surname was Mohammed. But that's not even how you pronounced it. He pronounced it as Mohammed did. <laughs> like what? Past tense? <laughs> you know, I'm like, is Mohammed a verb now? Like, are you gonna check the dictionary? To Mohammed is to terrorize. You know? No, it's not gonna happen. So he stand there, right, holding my ID card. He's like, Mohammed did. <laughs> Where are you going? I was like, uh, s s sir, I I'm just going home. What's the problem? He was like, Mohammed did. From where you are come? I'm like, what? From where you are come? What are you Yoda from Star Wars? What? I'm confused. You know, and so the thing is, I speak Cantonese. Come on, take a Jun Chan or or Asher. I said, Gone to Manga. I'm like, I'm like, good. He was just holding on. Mohammed did. You think I don't speak English? Now, when I go to Equal Opportunities Commission to talk and I joke about this, people kind of go like, you know what? That actually is an issue. You're not the only one. And it became something they really looked into, where they were like, you know what? We've noticed that a lot of these young teenagers are getting stopped and getting checked, and it was causing dis mistrust and also anger amongst these kids. 
you know what, we're just the same. Give, give everyone a chance and get to know them and then decide if you like them. I always say discrimination should not be vanished. You can discriminate, but get to know them first.